sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And here we are. It's Monday as ever was. That's the day after Sunday, you know. Did you know that? I didn't know. Yeah, it's the day after Sunday. The day the hard landscapers came and went. Pretty much. Getting the garden done. They're Lance. coming back, aren't they? Oh, they're coming back tomorrow to put the grass down. We're getting astro-turfed. <laughs> There's a phrase we shouldn't use, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> She's sitting there all quiet, look. You all right, Chris? Me? Aye. Yes, I'm busy doing things that I should have been doing pre I can't see it. you. What are you doing? I'm sorting out my uh, page for the show and picks and what have you. Uh, this is all technical stuff, you know. We're going to have... A slightly technical night tonight. Right. For donkey's ages, for donkey's ages, people keep putting bottom button mods in my hand. And I keep on giving them back and saying, yes, very nice, no thank you. On Saturday, one landed. And I find myself being unable to put the bloody thing down. This is unusual. So I'm going to show you around that. Um, it's a nice piece of kit, actually. That's giving away the plot a bit, isn't it? Hang on. There's all kinds going on here. Yes. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. I'll tell you when we get to it. I'm also, as you will see by closer you up you can, ready to do the dual coil, a shotgun cotton setup, into which I shall be clagging some 54 milligram Dulce de Leche caramel, both flavourings from very good sources. And, uh, and we'll be letting Keith have a try of that. Right. And into a into a kraken. A booty kraken, but a kraken nonetheless. And there's gonna be all kinds of other stuff as well going on. I've got video lined up that we haven't played. There's all kinds of stuff to talk about. We're gonna talk about your blueberry juice a little bit. Right. Chris and I probably chew the cud a little bit. About ver about various different things. Because you know what she's like, Grandma Grump. She's bound to have something <laughs> to, about to have something to whinge about, aren't you, pet? No, an no, the code. no answer. And in the meantime, I shall be trying to keep an eye on chat to find out what they're going to take the mickey out of this week. Those of you that are watching on video on demand who didn't catch the pre-show, I should point out that there was a challenge Dave set by Max Height, who I believe is a very good looking young lady, who suggested that the, the challenge to Dave was to use a Dr. Noah which might have taken its name from a non-doctor. I went and found the video and I'm going to say, no, it's not happening. Because patently it was modelled on a very small gentleman on a very cold day and I like biggins, which is probably a good point to take the titles. Because this, <laughs> are you ready? We've got the yes. time back now. Because this is a show called The, the Hair's Hour. .co.uk <laughs> And indeed we are. This is the Here's Hour. Hello, good evening. I'm Dave Dawn. This is Keith Herbert, my next door neighbour and, uh, and good friend of how many years now? 20 odd. I will not tell them. Uh, it's a long, long time. And, and in, in the cat house, because it is now officially hers, is Chris. Evening, Chris. Hello, everybody. Ha have, you done Hello. What, have you done what you were doing? I'm still doing little bits. But, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I've done what I was doing. I'm fascinated. <laughs> what are you fascinated at? Well, I don't know what it is you do. You know, when you do doing what these... Is it? 
Well, I have to get the show page looking the way it's supposed to, which means adding descriptions, putting tags on, putting photos on, and the tags I get as you see them, um, and that kind of thing, and then sort out pics with Sav for Facebook. Oh. And you see, she's even changed her hairstyle. Of course, Keith. And I hadn't seen that. Oh, see, that's it's the hair's our style. It's, it's the hair's our style. Yes. It's, it's elegance, yes. elegance tonight. Elegance. Yes. That's, it's sheer elegance. Yes. And what you're vaping on tonight, kiddo? Well, at the moment, that is the JJ. Uh huh. JJ. Have you it's got JJ. a JJ? That's JJ. You got a JJ? I've got a JJ. <laughs> and that's a pro tank on the top of it. All right. And um, the reason I've got that pro tank on there is I'm bloody sick of that Nautilus, but never mind, that's another <laughs> story. She, um, you really don't like it, do you? No. And I, I don't know why I dumped this, but I had, and I think it was down to the juice. And believe it or not, there was, um, what do you call it? Fire and ice in that, and it didn't crack it. Did it taste like pineapple? No. Like does his fire and ice taste like pineapple? I've, I've mixed some apple with some raspberry. And I put it in here after I washed it under the tap, you know. Ah, uh, indeed. <laughs> as, as you do. As you do. And it's, uh, it's canny, you know. Well, canny. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to tell you that chat, you're getting some, uh, a little bit of flack here. Lena Marie, Papa Torsen and Rachel Coffey both are big fans of the Nautilus, apparently. Vape Everybody swag. is. Apparently, I'm the only one in the entire UK that doesn't like it. Does that mean I've got to come up to your house? Why? Oh, hang on. Leslie Anna Lawless. Oh, sorry. She never tried the Nautilus. She broke it. It's an, ex uh, it's an expensive break. I broke brain as well. You're not alone, Leanna. Damn figures. Dearie me. Whip it up saying what's wrong with it, cat. Come on, tell us. What's wrong with it? Aye. Reach, where is the bloody thing? Let's have a look. It's behind you. It's behind you! <laughs> there it is. Right? Now, I hate that quick action airflow thing because every time you touch it, it changes. It's got four settings, supposedly. Mm -hmm. And I would argue and say there's two and two, because the first two are identical that you can't get a draw out of it, and the other two are identical that they're airy fairy. I have to stop you there. What? You couldn't get a draw out of it? No. I've tried the atties that you like the draw on, and seriously, if you can get a draw out of them, you can suck, suck a golf ball down a straw, and you can't get it right. Okay, carry can on. Can I get a draw off it? Sorry. But this is what's annoying me. Now, fill in the damn thing. Right, I've got a tight hole there and I'm unscrewing, right? That's not right. That shouldn't be happening. No, it shouldn't. That should be in there. It should. And it's not. Right. So as not a happy bunny. Okie dokie, I'll tell you what then. If I can... If I can Actually, if I get really annoyed at the, the hard landscapers, if they're making too much noise, I'll jump in the car and come up and you and me will have a play. All in the best possible taste, of course. That's assuming Ron uh, isn't ready for his close-up. Ron's practising. Is he? He's rehearsing for, for his, <laughs> his new... You know, his agent's been in touch. He's going to be doing the new VIP ad. Oh. It's I, going to be the new sex symbol. I tell you what, he's been on, he's been on telly more often than the newsreaders. <laughs> I thought, can I get away from him everywhere I look? There he is. I know. It, it, there, is a, there is a phrase, but I'll not use it because we're going to be polite tonight. <laughs> so they tell me. Yes. Um, shall, we, shall we plot her on? Now, I, I think I've got an order of, of work here to do. I think the thing to do is to coil this, uh, coil this kraken up and wick it and then go through the new bottom button firing device which is actually called a linear hydra it's greek and i'll show you through that and then show you how it all comes together and then keith you'll be so pleased to know 16 watts on 54 milligram juice it's lovely 
Right, we'll wait and see then. So, shall I do the recoil? Let's do the recoil. Now this is a, a, a dual coil recoil. Let's go to close you up your cam and you can see I've started, I've, I've wound the first bit on the screwdriver a bit ahead of time because I didn't want to waste everybody's time with the bit that they knew. What you do now, <coughs> and this is the clever part, is you wind it right the way around the screw so that you can, oh, typical, David, get it on. There you are. You wind it round the screw so that it goes once round it, making sure it's good and snug. And then you can tighten that down and take your screwdriver out. Here's a crosshead, David, it works better. Is that visible enough? Mm -hmm. Good. Try and get it centered. See that nice and clear? Good, good. So you tighten that down, and at that point, that first coil is done. Oh, that's clever. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So now you're going to wind the second coil. And it needs to go on again tight. Now, there's nine turns on this, otherwise, you end up with sub ohm. So that's one, two, three, four, five, mer. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then again, you want to snug them up. And this is the clever bit. This is the bit that Chris is going to love because she's a knitter, aren't you? Aye. So what you I'm do... i called a proper knit. What you do is you pull your screwdriver back a little bit. Try not to let your coil go off the end. And then shove it down the hole like that and lo and behold you're ready to catch Excellent. your second uh, your second wire in the negatory end and that completes the coil it's as easy as that and having done that you've then got your two coils lined up you use two screw screwdrivers if you want and that's it really job is a good one. You've got to be careful though about that last bottom bit. Sometimes if you tighten it too much that might get in the way but shouldn't do. There we go. All right and we'll just make sure that's lined up. Push them both down a little bit. Well by well. well. Mm. Clever isn't it? Oh it's yes. come undone at the bottom of that one. <sighs> you try your best that's one of the problems with the, the bigger wires, isn't it? Yes, it's, this is 0.25 canthal, so it is quite yeah. quite thick. Right, I think we're in. I'll just give it another little tighten. Am I still... Oh, God, I've moved all off camera, look. Another tighten. There we go. Right, so, cut the wire. And we are then pretty much ready to go. So now we've got the wicket. Now you'll have noticed I've left the tank off and there's a reason for that. Here's me bit of Rico boot lace. What is, what is this one called? Summer knit? Summer joy? Fashion summer. All oh, right, summer loving. It happens so fast. Um, so all I'm going to do is put a little bit of juice on the cotton itself, which will hopefully allow me just to get it nice and tightly rolled. Because all I need to do now, I'm trying to do this on camera and failing miserably because we're so close up here. Right, that's better. So you just roll that nice and tight so that it'll go down through the coil. All fingers and thumbs as ever and having got it through it should just poke gently through into the tank and we're nearly there I'm just going to roll it again slightly because I hadn't rolled it quite far enough up the longer you roll it between your fingers the stiffer it gets 
and obviously I've heard that said quite <laughs> and uh, well it's easier to get in the hole when it's stiffer <laughs> yes well you know that's true Keith quite yeah. <laughs> what are you two sniggering at nothing nothing good of course, if you've got one of Cat's clever devices, you could poke that up from the bottom of the tank. You could, or just take some uh, sharp nose tweezers and grab what you can get and just pull it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Or trying to. Don't you just love it when these plants come together so well? Don't you? It just needs a little bit more. Just use the splint. There we go. Right, I think I can get it now. Can you all see? There it is, just poking out. Yeah. If I can grab it. My... There you go, right? So you just need to pull that down to the bottom like that. Yeah? Yeah. And then the same on the other side. So a little bit of juice. the wick then roll the wick I'm trying to do this on camera I do apologize if it keeps going off and exactly the same sort of thing applies you want to down that coil I want to be a little bit narrower now this is when I get nervous because when you've got two holes to play with it puts the pressure on Right, and I'm, I'm going to use uh, my little blunt needle again just to try and thumb that in, ease that in, sorry. Get it through. Is it through? It's coming. Right, where are they? I'm sure a pair of plies would be easier than these tweezers come through there we go now we've got it and then the side that your wire is on is where you want your wick to sit you don't want it on top of that screw you want it alongside the screw because if it goes on top it gets right in the road of your drip tips air hole <coughs> so it just sits over like that and then as you'll probably work out you just need to snip it to length so that it touches the bottom that's all you need to do Are you following this Keith? yeah it's a it seems like a fart and a clark and a carry on very dexterous but it's it is worth it when you get there and now of course you can slip the tank alright yes back on like that there you go it's in so what do you do next I hear you ask Hello. So what do you do next, I hear you ask? Fair what do you do next, Dave? Next you put some juice on the <laughs> cotton, Chris. <laughs> right. All I want to do now is just check what resistance we're running at. Actually, I'll fill it because I know it's going to be right and I'm not taking it to bits. So here we go. Fill it up here. How much does that hold? Just over three mil, as I measured at the softy. Right, at this point, I will take off the care phone and I shall screw on the Kraken. Mm. Assuming I can unscrew the bloke thing off the plinth. Why is it that even though I'm not actually covered in juice, my fingers are slippy, Chris? Mm-hmm. It's always the way. I could tell you, but we'll be taken off the air, I think. Really? <laughs> it's not that bad, surely. <laughs> I just can't grip it. And if chat will be having a field day with that, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. All righty. Okay, so. Let's go to camera two. Camera two. Hello, camera two. 
Um, this is straight 4.2 volts on an 18650. I'll just screw into position. Switch the beast on. No, it's not making contact on that one. No mind. I shall use my copper, as one does. As one does. As one does when one can, because I want to be able, I want to be able to see what it's running at anyway. Ah, it's typical of the uh, the centre contact. It's not reaching. Ah, uh, that's one of the problems that you get, isn't it? It is a problem. It's a bit short in reach on that centre contact. So, camera one, I shall go to a dingo because it has an adjustable centre pole and that will allow me to get where I want to be. And just screw that right up and then in we go. I think everybody thinks, you know, that everything just works first time. Ha! I wish. No. Alrighty. Camera two. There you are, look. That's starting to go. And there's the single coil one. You've got a single one done, have you? Yeah. Working away beautifully there on the... On the JJ. On the JJ. On the JJ. There you are. If I get that really close up, you'll be able to see how it's... It's banging it out. So... Having done that, and having ascertained that it's not burning, it's getting enough juice and everything else, we shall clag on its lid, if I can find it. It's here somewhere. There it is. Should have known. And then I think... That's the hardest bit. That's it, actually. <coughs> God, that's... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Ooh, that's got some power. Because I have left the air holes quite wide open. Same here. Oh, yes, you don't want your air hole left too wide open. Oh. Otherwise you'll end up lunging it. Mm-hmm. That's nice. So there you go, Keith. I knew you'd do this. <laughs> there you go. Have a blast at that. Now that's just at 11 watts with 54 milligram. Change the camera shot, Dave. Oops, sorry, there you go. 54 milligram, Keith. <laughs> it's powerful. It, it's, it, it, it's a really, oops, really easy draw, but... Too easy, that's the trouble. Yes. I'll tighten it up a bit. Let's have a look. Because on, on it, the, it just hits the back of the throat. It does quite a lot, yeah. If I tighten the draw up a bit, it'll make life a little bit better, I think. Mm hmm. Too tight? I'm not sure. Try that. All goes quiet mm. when he's concentrating. Yeah, that's better. It is, is it? Mm. Going down all right? Mm. Tell you what, right. while, while Keith's enjoying that, we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, I will put together uh, the Lanier Hydra. And I'll show you how that works. And we'll get that up to 16 watts. Then we'll see what's happening. Be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Super6.co.uk sponsors of the Hazel.
6. Sponsors of the Hayes Hour. Yes, we're back, we're back, we're back on the Hayes Hour. And I wanted to show you through this Linear Hydra. It arrived with me on Saturday. And as I say, it's a bottom button device. And I've never hitherto been a big fan of bottom button bottom. I can't say this, Bottom Chris. button devices. Bottom button devices. Arse yeah. firers. That's a good name. Arse yeah. firers. Right. So here Easier we go. To say. Now, this will take everything from an 18340 up over. And should you so desire, it will be a totally mechanical mod. Camera 4. Right. There we go. 18340 in there. On the first of the tubes. In it goes. And here you have the actual top itself, which has an adjustable contact. And the idea would be, in truth, that you would screw your device of choice in first, then push the centre contact, the centre contact pin up, and then put it on the battery. But this is adjustable up and down for battery because <coughs> all batteries are slightly different lengths. So the clever part is it screws on what you would think is the wrong way as in it's a left hand thread ah. right now there's a reason for that right and here's the reason how many people have you come across who when they're screwing the device in like i'm screwing this one in now instead of just getting to the point where it makes contact and stopping they'll continue to screw and screw and screw and screw and screw but if you do that the top cap will actually unscrew if you screw it too tight so there's a certain amount of torque setting in that that's a so bit like me. To me all the time. there you go yeah. so you're never going to get that situation where the thing galls off likewise when you come to unscrew it it will just and i've got slippy fingers unscrew without unscrewing the top cap right. so you can't <coughs> over tighten it i think that's bloody clever I would agree. because i'm an over tightener oh i've heard Are it you? said vicky was telling us just last week oh well you told me you said yes he's an over tightener so yeah. you, you get too tight <coughs> like trying that and then there you go look as you can see it screws the top cap off so you're never going to go over tight so that's 18340 mode and you would think to yourself, okay, that's fine, where next? Well, let's go down the bottom end. No, let's go at the top end and take that top off just by what you would think would be screwing. And then you can add on the next little bit. And the next little bit will allow you then, and I've got to remember it's left hand threaded. And trust me, the first couple of times you try this, you'll not thread it easily. It, it's not easy to do because it's a left-hand thread. But once it's gone, the thread's as smooth as a as silk. So we take the 18340 out and put in an 18500. And then exactly the same thing applies. So you've got all of that. You can screw that <coughs> in. It's a, if you're not used to left-hand threads, and I'm not... You see, I am left-handed. Oh, you'd love it then. And again, there you go. But the, the, there is one mode that obviously most people would go for. Well, I would certainly go for. And again, righty tight, no, lefty tighty, righty loosey. And you get a third tube. Again, Good. find the threads. I should point out, actually, Cybernoid's got a, a proper review on his YouTube channel, should you care to watch. And the 18650 goes in there. Right. Now, <coughs> if I put on the, the top cap again, and this took me a little while to work out, I'll unscrew that particular device and give it a little rattle. And it's solid. You also get an airflow adjuster and this is the airflow adjuster here and what you do really try to get it at the center of the camera is put your device of choice your atomizer of choice on 
and I'm going to go really close up on this one because I'll need to and I've just dropped my scissors right close up you come really really close up now then I don't know whether you'll be able to see this properly or not but as I turn the outside you see the inside stays still and it allows you to adjust the drag to suit yourself let me go to camera 2 and get right in front of camera 2 and go from wide open mm, mm, with nothing have a go just turning it from side to side mm. it's really smooth isn't it mm. and you can actually adjust that airflow to suit exactly where you want to be obviously isn't going to apply with something like a Genesis there's quite a bit of adjustment there's a lot there, of adjustment yeah. it's nice and nice and loose it's most open and then goes down to seriously you would need the bread poultice on the mm. back of your neck to get it to draw I really like it as an airflow Clever adjustment that. it's very good it's very good so that's that's kind of <coughs> the mechanical <coughs> side of it and as a mechanical mod I think it works very nicely thank you have you left this tight or slack or what I think it was tight right I'll slacken it off a bit then okay the switch oh yes it is switched and it is switched at the bottom and I've gone really close up here so that you can see where my fingers are it's switched off it's switched on switched off switched on try and show you the thumb switched off switched on so is there a technical reason for that or is it just the design thing what for the the the, uh, the, the bottom uh, well yeah because you don't really want to have to screw things around for an hour and a half right it's it's literally off and on and when it's on you can hear that fire yeah and it's tiny little wee press you'll be able to see on screen just how much movement there is there and that's that's the difference that's all it takes um, and like I say I've, I've never ever found a bottom button one that I like this is brilliant try that just with a little finger on the bottom it's dead easy it takes no push at all does it no And I'm told that switch is gold plated to avoid nasties. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. That's it in mechanical you, mode. You hardly need you, well, you know, you're just moving your finger virtually across it. You can almost just think about it and mm. it happens. Crap in that way on. Absolutely cracking loving it mm. but when you get all of this of course you get much more than just a mechanical mod you also get and let's go back the closer you up you can you get this I need to <coughs> I need to come out a bit because that's going to be and this is the new Zorbas I don't know whether you can it's very very shiny and a bit of a fingerprint print magnet this is the new Zorbas and when we come back after the break I'll show you how this works and then we'll get that dual coil uh, just a second just a second I want it noted can somebody please note now, where it's gone where's it gone I just put it there for safekeeping because your desk was full <clears throat> but of course the problem is with that oh, you're not getting it back I wouldn't have dreamt. No, no. <laughs> was there for safekeeping? <laughs> he sees out. So, uh, ca can you can you actually switch that off at the bottom as yes. well? Yes. Yes, I just did. Try it. Switched off now. Right. I'm not doing anything. Yes. That's the idea. It's ju it's literally Clever. just yeah. it's just the tiniest little way tink and it's on and it's on tink and it's off. Um. <laughs> probably worth pointing out as well I'll go back to close you up you can now 
that I've rescued it. It's fully vented, uh, it's engraved, and I can't, I just can't show you the engraving. It's really, really pretty in natural light, but of course there's so much light in the studio, it's impossible to show. When we come back from the adverts though, I'm gonna clag this on. And anybody that thinks it's gonna go on 510 styley, you've got a shock. This is kind of a hybrid, but I'll show you that after the break. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. And we're back in the room and I've been reading chat. Are you happy you live next door to me? Oh, it's a pleasurable experience. <laughs> um, yes, the, the people were asking, what is it called? It's a the Linnea Hybrid. L-E-N-A-I-A -A Hydra, as in H-Y-D-R-A. And as I was saying just before the break, it comes with the Zorba. Let's go to close you up your cam. And the Zorba will as you might imagine, screw on to any 510, much as you would expect, and so on and so on and so forth, and will work quite nicely on there. But, here's the clever bit, and again, forgive the claggy fingers, but my, my fingers are sticky and slippy. There we go. As you can see, again, left hand through, oh God, my, I've got no grip at all tonight, Chris. I know that feeling. <laughs> you do? Right, it's, I'll, I'll have to widen out for this. I do apologise, but one thing it does prove, this is definitely live. If it had been videoed prior, I'd have edited all of this nonsense out. And you've got to remember to go the right way, which is the wrong way. Ah, come on. Is your towel slippy? Yeah, everything's you, use, slippy. Use this. Ha! Ah, thank you, Keith. It's because I'm probably trying to screw it the wrong damned way. And I'm still slipping like hell. I'm going to have to grip it with pliers, I think. It's, uh, this happens. It does. It's uh, a pain in the backside. I'm just grip it gently, thankfully. Ah, that's it. There we go. So, we take that off. Get rid of that bit of cloth and what have you. And zoom in a little bit. So you can see what happens next. Feels such an amateur sometimes. Alright. So you get in the box this which is a little little screw 
that screws onto the centre post. Now it's not an adjustable centre post on the top of the, uh, the Zorba. So that screws on and then you can screw it into the linear body. And obviously lefty tighty, righty loosey. And you'll feel, there we go. I'm not going to snug it down too far. That'll do the job there. But I do want you to see that light. And switching it on, and you'll see it's flashing. That's because it knows it hasn't got an atomizer. So now we'll clag the atomizer on. It's kind of this is one I made earlier, isn't it? Okay. Now we press the button and you will see that it comes into program mode. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right, so I'm going to set this to 16 watts. And you do that by giving it three taps and holding it. Count it up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12 it was set to. Then it goes to red for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's it. It is now set to 16 watts. Right. <coughs> Have a blast at that. If I was you, I wouldn't go two crackers. By God. At 16 watts, you just want short drugs. Really? <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah. It's got some chuckles. God. Not for everybody, is no, it? No, 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 no. Yes. No, that would be too faffy for me. Too faffy in for a, you, eh? Yes, in a, in a simpler form, fine. Well, the fact of the matter is, with something like this, once you know where you like a specific device, you kind of set it and forget it. The thing is, this will go up to 22 watts. Let me just Pretty check, I've got hell. that right. It'll do from 6 <coughs> to 22 20. watts, yes. Mm. And that's set at six, 16, did you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, go on then, just for daftness, let's take it up to 22 watts, shall we? You can. <laughs> we'll take it up to 22 watts. And I'll do it on close up cam so people can see. There it is. There's the light. One, two, three. Hold it. Little disco dance. Let it count up to show you how many it's on. It is a bit faffy if you don't like this kind of thing, but it just saves getting a screwdriver out, really. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's it. 22 watts. Go on then, best of luck. Oh God. <laughs> oh yeah, bugger. God. I'm a bit reluctant. Just, just take a short one, kiddo. That bangs it, doesn't it? It does. <sighs> Deary me. Bit much? Yes, I took a bit too much in there. <laughs> yes, I think <coughs> 22 might be a little bit on the high side. But I the think fact so. of the matter is, <laughs> if that's what you want, more air. Somebody saying more air? Uh, no, I'm not doing bite extra in it. Yeah, I'm not going to lung it. 
Actually, that's that's quite an easy draw. Okay, I loaned it. I'll do that into camera too. Yeah. That is Christ above. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> Look at that picture. Can you see that? Chris? Oh, yes. Yeah. That, jeez. <coughs> That's pretty heavy stuff. What do you reckon of that, Chris? Not for me. I mean, I've got this spheroid up at nine, and that's the highest I have ever gone. Nine watts. No. Really? Not mm. for me. Now, I mean, how many people are going to use that at 22? Um, it's, it's, it's difficult to say, Keith. I mean, obviously it's useless at putting vapour out. Somebody phoned the fire brigade. Yes. <laughs> twelve. Or a bucket of water or it'll be one about or the other. Twelve draws to the tank full. You're <laughs> <sighs> like driving an old six litre car. Mm. Do you know we're using a computer to do this broadcast? Is this cloud computing? <laughs> uh -huh. Half a litre of juice per day. Um, yeah, it's a pity I can't actually get closely up your camp to show how much juice. I could, I suppose. Let's see if we can... If you can see through the fog. Well, because people saw how much juice was in because they know I've just filled it. That, that, I don't know whether you can see that. That's rattling through the juice a bit. Definitely mm. rattling. So it's a high maintenance device. Mm. Mm-hmm. So as Chris is saying, if you dropped it to six to nine. <laughs> Mark Shaw, this is, says there's a fog alert over Newcastle on it's, the weather forecast. It's a pity that we're on the way, <laughs> otherwise we'd be seeing fog on the towns, aren't we? <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Um, I can hear your sirens ringing. I've got it. I've got to see it. I've got to see it. I, I've, I have never yet come across a bottom button device that I like, but I like that setup a lot. Oh, the setup's impressive. Yes. I really, really like that setup a lot. I really, really like that double barrel twin coiled cotton wicked cracking. But without the faffy bit in the middle. Which faffy bit's that? The pressing the buttons. Yeah, the, yes. Well. Again, like I say, I mean, I'm going to knock it back from 22 because that is actually kicking it just a little bit. So I'll, I'll go back to something like 12. I'll take 10 watts off. I've got no idea what voltage that is. Um, but yes, I'm a little bit proud of myself, actually, because I've been hearing about all this 22 watt and 30 watt vaping, and I've not really had much of a chance to try. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13 will do. So up till that, what was the sort of highest that you... I'd never really ventured much above 13. Oh, what was the ohms on the Kraken, Dave? Right, oh Lord. Actually, it doesn't matter what the ohms on the Kraken is. Um, because it's... it it. That's warm. Um, because it's it's working in watts, so watts just adjusts for the ohms, and that the uh, the Zorba will go from zero point eight ohms up to four ohms. And let's just check it out. 
power on on the old EVIC because it's accurate and it says it's Sunday it's not that atomizer I don't know whether you'll be able to see you'll see in, in a tick 1.2 ohms 1.2 ohms is what that's running at that's what it says there so that's with the eight turns of uh, 0.25 camphal on either leg of the of the dual coil it's running 1.2 ohms so you wouldn't want to use much less than that of the 0.25 eight turns nine turns might be I mean that is heating one hell of an area of, uh, of wick still working quite that's probably more to your taste now <laughs> now mm. you've got to be careful with that finger yes you've got to you've got to take it right off yeah that's better isn't it mm. yeah the thing is though you know um when you when you're talking about this cotton wick John Diver was telling me, because I, I gave him some last time I saw him, he, he swears by it, he thinks it's lovely, uh, he was telling us, and there's a few folks who've been trying it, and this stuff wicks like you wouldn't believe. You saw how much I was whacking that at 22 watts on two coils, and you can see how much juice it's gone through and how well it's wicking with that cotton wick, and you're getting the same sort of experience, aren't you, with, Chris, uh, with cotton, Chris? Yes. It's uh, especially that wool that um, you told me about the lace effect wool that um, wicks nicely, not too fast, unlike the cotton wool, which can be a bit fast for people like me that vape on a lower resistance. Yes. You know? Um, so I'm liking the, uh, the lace. It's very good. much. It is. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I, I, I'm very keen on the cotton. I didn't think I would be. <coughs> Is that giving you some hit, sunshine? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Enjoying that, aren't you? Yes, it's... <laughs> I'll wear a shirt without a pocket next time. <laughs> Can I just ask the viewers, whilst, um, whilst you're busy there, mm -hmm. Are you breaking, is the uh, video breaking up as much for you now as it did earlier? Can you type into chat if it's steadier at the moment? Have we been having some technical issues? No. Seems better now. Okay. Right, thanks for that, guys and gals. Thanks very much. They are good, aren't they? So they as are. If, yeah, it would be, I think what we, we, we're going to have to do fairly soon, I think, is try and track this down and see whether it's down to various different ISPs um, and whether it's down to different uh, different browsers as well. People were asking what the diameter of the cotton was. Let's go back to close you up you can. And you may remember uh, a week or two back, I can't remember how long ago it was, I was talking about playing with me nice balls. This is the stuff. It's from a company called Rico. I bought it at Hobbycraft. Um, I think at the moment it's two pound a ball and it's called Summer Fashion. Summer Fashion by Rico Design. Summer Fashion by Rico Design. This is the stuff. And, and I will tell you in mills in a second. And it, it's, it's, it's actually, uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to make this out at all. But if, five mills. Five, is it? Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, you know the stuff you used to get for finger pokes? It's, yeah. it's, it's like a tiny little wee version of that. I can't quite get this in, if I can tease it open. You can see, there you go. Ah. It's tubular. It's like finger poke stuff. So if you buy that at Hobbycraft, what's it sort of conventional usage? Believe it knitting. or not, it's used, used for knitting. Ask Chris, she'll tell you. All right. Scarves, hats, um... Anything that requires a very loose knit. I can be more specific than that. 
and tell you that it needs size 8 to 10 needles. There you go. There you go. And, and if you want to loose knit, either get the, uh, the summer fashion or I'm available. I'm a loose knit. I'm a knit anyway. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a finger poke for uh, Lilliputians. So that's a team valley, isn't it? Team, well, hobby crafts all over the place. They've got branches right. and a website. Um, and it's, it's, it's lovely. Um, and it oh, hang on, whip it up says they asked me what I wanted it for in Hobbycraft. <laughs> Come on, then, whip right. it up, tell me, tell Just me. see you were knitting a scarf. Tell me, tell uh. me what this. I want to know what they said. I want to know what he said now. Mark Shaw uses it for catfishing. Pardon the question, says Gillis, but if you pull it, does it get thinner? Yes. Yes, it does. It's like it's 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 exactly like like finger pork stuff. Um, Bondage and whips. <laughs> if you pull it, it does thin out, mm -hmm. which is why I was manipulating it with my fingers Not to make it thinner. Not a great deal, but it does a bit. Yeah. So whip it up. He says he had to show them his tool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Steffi, down for Chwemel keks, wasn't able to buy it at Rayco headquarters. So hey, they might be running out. There you go, Hugh. Hugh Jans, <laughs> Hugh Jans, I'm pleased it wasn't Hugh Janus. So what put you on to that then? I was just, I was just in hobby craft. You know what my wife's like with cakes? Yes. And we were looking for a number one cake tin for my grandson's birthday. And we went into hobby craft to see if they, if they had a, a number one cake tin. But she also wanted to knit a hat. I was hoping she was going to knit a rice pudding. Anyway. She went up into this, and as we're walking round, I went, "Ooh, hang on, just a minute," and I had a big notice, cotton. Because I, I mean, thought, it's a hobbyist paradise in there. Oh, you I used to buy paint and all sorts of things, get tools and all sorts. Aye. How, whip it up. What, what was the other one we had called? Oh, crikey! Where's the label? That's the double knitting one. Yes, it's Rico Design again. There it is. I'll zoom out the tab. Technology is marvellous. Rico design again. This, I think, measures out at about two and a half mil. It's a and plain it, double knit, that one. A plain double knit cotton, <laughs> again from Rico. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Knitting trails. Dot TV. Um, and that, that, was, that was what I've been using in the... Uh, the uh, uh -huh. Help me. Um... Fun. Thank you. I've been having that kind of day to day where I keep forgetting. Remembering all the names. It's yes, in the K fun. Um in the various different K funds. I've got the thick stuff in this one. Uh in that one there. Zoom in. in yes, V Power, you can buy it from Hob Hobbycraft online. Yes. So the thick's in that K fun there you can see as you go through. Um, the fashion summer um, but it is as I said when I went across to Ireland it had just I'd never tried cotton and since since uh, that was done over there I, I, I love it I love it to death and it's doing the job really really well and that Rico just makes life so much easier very boring said that was a tear fun well I bought it as a care fun it is what it is yeah, it's only two pound a ball, Heiko. They're only two pound a ball, so your paycheck's pretty safe, really, unless you Online, do. Online, if you buy two, you get the third one free. Buy two, get one free. <laughs> so it works out at less than two pound a ball. Well, you know, you just sniff out a bargain. Yeah, I don't so know. really, the amount you 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 would need to use oh, that for that, so you could make yourself a scarf as well, probably. No. Uh, Can you imagine the size atomizer you would need if you knitted a scarf with that stuff? Your coil yeah. would be about three foot, <laughs> three foot wide. <laughs> be shocking. Um, there we go. Uh, Yet again, we haven't played the video in, Chris. Oh. It's stots by. Um, I, I need We're to, right out of time. I need to bring the show to a close. I would like to say a great big thank you to everybody for tuning in. As you do, as usual. Big thank you to Keith. It's nice to see you back <laughs> on the Gears Hour. Pleasure. Monday nights are going to be all right? Yes, should be. Yes. Super Smoke. stuff. And 
me old mucker Chris there. Mucker, I said with an M. Chris, <laughs> in uh, in the cat house. Thanks for joining us again, Chris. No bother. Uh, I, I would, if I was you, I'd put a new battery in the doorbell because I've heard there's going to be camera crews and all kinds coming. Ron's going to be a superstar. <laughs> he absolutely is. Absolutely is. Um, it's been it's been a great pleasure to share the last hour with each and every last one of you. Um, it, it, it's always a pleasure, never a chore. Uh, tomorrow night, tune in for Mark o. Van Basten, who will be doing his usual thing. Um, followed by our German language programme, DE Talk. On Wednesday night, we have Team Talk, when, I don't know who will be on that. Lots we of never know until the night. Never know until the night. But I dare bet Davy Malik will be there. Um, so that'll all be good. Um, Thursday night is VT Talk, and I've, I've been talking to Nikki Sinclair. We'll be able to confirm on the night whether Nikki Sinclair will make it for Thursday night's VT Talk. Keep your fingers crossed. She might be travelling. If she's not, she'll be with us. And I'm really looking forward to that. And then it rolls through from Thursday to Sunday when Dave will be back with Dave's Tackle Box. But don't forget, every night after VT Talk, our, our Y4 radio is going. Uh, I think it's Rob tonight, is it? Or is it Nicky? Uh, I don't know. I'm never sure. But yes. It's uh, RY4 radio. I don't radio. know, Sav's just saying, turn into, tune into RY4 now, guys and girls. Yeah, get yourselves across there. Boogie on down at Reggae Woman. Get on down and get back up again after VaporTrails.tv every night, Sunday to Thursday and Friday and Saturday as well. Until we see you next time, from Kat, Keith and me, take care of yourselves. Vape on, vape hard and nil carbo rundum illegitimai. We'll see you all next time. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye.